I guess it's GKCS. We are talking about a problem called Gotham PD this time, and it was uh, there in the Code Chef May challenge. So this was one of the difficult problems, and that's why we'll be joined by Jatin later on because uh, the problem is a little complicated and I don't understand all of its concepts. So yeah, later on. But so this is the problem. You have a graph given to you. Okay, set of cities essentially, and they are connected by edges. But there is a special city that we have, which is Gotham's police department itself, City Zero. Right. So the thing is, this graph is like a tree. None of them can have edges connecting this way. <laughs> right. I just confirmed that. But uh, so this is the graph given to you. There are two types of operations you can perform. One is to add a city, which is adding a city. Yeah, that's that's quite simple. But the important operation that you can perform is from the root, which is city zero, to any other city. Let's say the newly added one. We can take a path like this. This is your path, and we take all the IDs of the cities. So each city has like this one has zero. This might have twenty three as its ID, forty six, so on and so forth. So you take all the IDs as a list, and you take another number k. So this will be provided in the query itself. You take this list, you take this number, and you find the maximum ZOR possible with this number k for any other ID in the list. So for example, if you have 23 as your ID, 23, 46, and 1 as your ID list, and you have k as 46, then you need to find both minimum and maximum actually. So the minimum over here is of course 0. The maximum will be with this it will be 47, with this it will be 0. So uh, with this it will be, yeah, whatever. You need to find the maximum zone. So, so for now, let's solve a simpler problem. We have a set of numbers, the ID list that we have. Let's just take this as a set of numbers, okay, which is your ID list. We call it number list to keep it generic. And we have a number k. We need to find the maximum that k can have zoring with any number in this list. Okay, the minimum is the exact opposite, we'll look at that later. But our idea is taking k and trying it with every number over here. That's the first idea, that's the most brute force idea. You zor it with every other number in this list, and the complexity is if the list size is n, that is o n. So pretty large. Okay, you don't want to be trying this out uh, in a contest because it's too slow. There's another approach you can try, which actually uses try, okay, uh, which is T R I E. So you can use a binary try here. A binary try is like we have discussed in the previous videos. You can look at the video for try if you want some reference. But a try data structure actually has alphabets, and the alphabets which come after it in represented as a data structure. So a binary try will have at most two children because the alphabet is just 0 and 1. And if this number is 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, then the try data structure will come like this. You go to the root, put in a 0 here. You add 0, so you go to the left. And then you go to the right, which is 1, here. Then you go to the left again, which is 0. And then you go to the right, which is 1. So this is this number represented as a try you won't be having this part. Right, so once you have the try, what you can do is you can find the maximum with k and this list very efficiently. Here's how you do that. Let's take an example. Let's take this number and let's take k as, I don't know, 11101. Okay, you want the maximum. So here's the strategy. You come to the root, okay, you already had this try constructed. You come to the root, you see that the number is zero. But even before that actually, what you do is you look at k, you look at the very first character you have there, which is one. So you want the maximum, right? Zor will be maximum when two characters are not equal to each other. Okay, uh, 0 and 1 and 1 and 0 give you 1, otherwise ZOR is 0. So you want two different characters. 
So here's the thing. If you have one, you want a different character try possible. So there is no try possible with one in its root. This try is empty. You go for this one. You go for zero. Okay, uh, fine. In fact, this try is not really helping us because there's just one number. So it's not explaining the concept. So let's add two more numbers. Zero, one, zero, 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 and zero, one, one, zero, one. Okay. Come to the root. And let's add another number just for fun because this won't be used. This try is represented the last number. It's going to be represented as 1, 0, 0, 0, and 0. Okay, this is the try for the last number. For these two remaining numbers, we have 0, 1. So we need to make a note here 1, 0, 0, and 0. Over here you have 0, 1, 1, so you know to be added, 0, 1. These are your two trees. Let's get back to the question. We go for K. K has 1 over here in the first character. So we'll go for the try which doesn't have 1 because we are trying to maximize. So we go for this try. Come here, you see that the next character is also 1. So the next character in K is 1. So you should be going for the character which doesn't match, which is 0. Does it exist? Yes, it does. So till now we are going down this path, 0, 0. And what's our resultant? With 1, we exhort with 0 and got 1. Again we came here, we had a 1, we exhort with 0, we got a 1. Now we get the third character. 1 is our character. So if possible we would have gone to 0, we would have gone to something which is different, but we can't. So we have to go to 1, we do that, we exhort this with the third character and get a 0. Alright, and then our character is 0. Again, we would like to go to 1 now, because it's a different character, but we can't. We have to come here, 0 exhort with 0 gives us 0. Finally 1, no choice. Again, going to 1 we have 0. So this is the maximum exhort that we can have in this set of numbers. For the minimum exhort, it's simple. You come here, when you want the minimum, you want equal characters. Zorin. So with one, you go for the try having one. Come here, and your Zor sum till now is zero, because the first character has been matched. Second time, you want to go to one, because you want to minimize this time. You want equal characters. So, but you can't. Well, you come here, and you go to Zor of one and zero, which gives you one. Exact same procedure for the next character 1. You want to go to 1 but you can't, so 1. Now you are lucky because you wanted to go to a 0, you wanted to minimize and you got a 0, so that gives you 0. And finally 1 and 0. So you could, you had no choice, you had to take the 1. And this is the minimum that you can get by solving k with any of these numbers. Okay, so the simple problem has been explained. And the complexity has been reduced from order n, which was the size of the list, to order b. Okay, the number of bits that you need to represent this number, any number. So usually in 32 bits you can easily represent numbers as large as this. Uh, but depending on the constraints, you know, it might extend up to 64, let's say. So tries are very efficient ways in which you can uh, search for the maximum or the minimum. Right, so let's talk about the more complicated problem now. So uh, in the original problem, we are uh, given two kinds of queries. So uh, one of the queries asks for uh, the maximum and minimum XOR from a particular node to the root, okay? F given K and suppose this node X and this is suppose the root R. So, so query is given K and X Okay, consider the set as consisting of all the IDs from X to the root. And now we have we have to find out the maximum possible XOR value we can find if we take XOR with XOR of K with any of these. And similarly, you have to find the minimum minimum XOR value we can get if we take XOR with any of these. Okay. And this is the query, and the update is add 
सम नोट वाई विद आई डी आई डी वाई सपोज टू एक्स ओके सो सो वी हैव सम स्ट्रक्चर एंड नाउ वी आर आस्ट टू एड दिस नोट वाई टू द स्ट्रक्चर ओके सो एड वाई टू एक्स लाइक सज दैट एक्स इज द पेरेंट ऑफ वाई एंड सज दैट द आई डी इन दिस इज आई डी वाई it's given okay. so we are given the id of the node we have to add and the parent of the node we have to add okay so now let's think about it uh, if we uh, try to do it in the way uh, that was uh, described earlier so we actually need the try of all these elements right if if we have the try consisting of only these elements exactly these elements which are from x to the root the we can solve the query right Yes. So, uh, if we construct a try for every node to the root, okay, that would be too expensive. Why? Because for every node to the root, we have order n nodes, and constructing a try again would take order n time. Okay. So, but we have n nodes. So, overall, we will have to use order n square time and order n square memory too, because we have order n square different nodes, right? Because a try has Uh, memory complexity order n, and we have order n tries considered each consisting of order n nodes, right? So the memory and time complexity would be order n square for this method. If we construct to, uh, if we try to construct uh, tries for all uh, individual nodes, okay. But see what we are doing now is suppose uh, now. suppose we have the try for x to the root okay so let's say this is a try something like this say okay okay so suppose this is a try for x for suppose this is a uh, okay so this is a node x and this corresponds to the try consisting of all the elements which lie between x from from on the path from x to the root okay so let let us say that this is the root of that try and these are like these corresponds these correspond to all the uh, elements which are lying from x to the root okay now now suppose we want the try from uh, y to the root okay so what what have what do we have to change okay we have we sh if we try to construct a completely new uh, try from for all elements from y to the root we are actually not using all the uh, we are not actually not using this tree uh, this try but what is the use of constructing x if we have to construct y again so let's say uh, that the try for x to the root consists of all these numbers okay now suppose i add Y as a child of x, and now we want to find a separate try, which is which is consisting of all the nodes which lie from y to the root. Okay, so now let us try to add one zero one to this node id because id y equal to one zero one, and we want to add all the ids from uh, the root uh, from the node to the root. So we have to add one zero one to this to the uh, try for x, so that we can find a try for x, y to the root. Okay, so how do I add this? so first of all notice that when i want to traverse the try for y if if suppose for some node for some integer for some integer lying on the path from uh, y to root the first bit is zero okay there is no change if we consider x or y why because the only change is 101 and 101's first bit is one okay so if we go to the zero if if the first first integer is zero then we have we get the exact same try so the only change we want is for the side one okay so let us add a new root okay and for that root the zero side would be the same and one side will be something different okay similarly for the next part since we are adding 101 the zero part will be something different but the one one side will be the same similarly when we are adding 101 we we next have to add a one 
and the zero side would, would be the same but there is no zero side okay so we only had to add order order b new nodes when we are when when we are finding a tie for y to all the nodes from x to all the nodes okay let me try to explain this again so so let's say that we have this try for x the, uh, the black nodes okay and now i want a new try which consists of of the integers in the try for x plus the integers which are uh, added after that there is only one such integer which is 101 so we want to add 101 to this try and we want to form a new root such that if we go to this root and then traverse the try we can we can find all the integers which are from x to the root and also the integer 101 okay so we want to add integer 101 to this part so 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 let's just first add 101 okay now notice that if we if the first bit is zero okay then we we get no difference if it is uh, the try for y or if it is the try for x why because the only change is 101 and and it and this side this side of the try for x is not affected only the right side can be affected so we can just form uh, we can we can just use the previous sub tree in such a way that we have to add only order b nodes not or not order n nodes for making the try completely again so in this way we can find we can get a new try and only order b steps okay so the uh, set of ids for x is 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 okay and now we have to add 1 0 1 to this try in order to get a new try but in such a way that we we add only four different nodes to the overall structure okay so uh, so the set of ids of y is 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 and an extra node 1 0 1 okay so let's see where these nodes are in our new structure okay so the new structure has root at this new node this new root is the root corresponding to y okay so let us see where is 0 0 1 0 0 1 okay 0 0 1 uh, 0 1 0 0 uh, 0 1 0 okay 0 1 0 then we have 1 1 0 so uh, this is 1 this is 1 this is 0 okay then we have 1 0 1 so this is the newly added path 1 0 1 okay so now we we have exactly the nodes we want we have exactly the integers we want which are on the path from y to the root okay so as as is very clear from this example so now suppose we have a query in which we get a particular node say x and k okay so now so now in the earlier uh, in the example gorov showed we we had a try okay try of elements and we have we were given an element we were we were given an integer k and we had to find the maximum and minimum xor values okay so now here also we have the try okay and we have to find the maximum and minimum values so that is the exact same problem Okay, which can be solved in order b time, where b is like 32 or 64 or whatever. Okay, so 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 the complexity of query is order b. Okay, now what is the complexity of an update? In an update, we have to add at max order b plus one nodes. Okay, uh, order b nodes. Okay, so in this case, b was four. Okay, so we had to add four nodes. So in, so in update, since we have to add at max order b nodes to our structure, the query, the complexity of an update is also order b, okay? And moreover, since we are adding only order b nodes to the structure, the overall complexity, overall memory complexity, the overall memory needed is order b into n. Remember that b is 32 and it can be taken as a small constant. Consider it as uh, consider it as a small constant. Okay, so we solve the memory, we solve the problem in order b update uh, query time, order b update time, and order b into an uh, overall memory. Okay. Okay, so that's it from our side for the problem. If you have any doubts, you can comment below, and we will be leaving all the relevant links uh, in the description. Thank you.